Hi Libra, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of October 2018. If you would like your own personal private psychic tarot reading, please contact me on my website lamartownsendtarot.com. I would love to read for you. I also do birth chart readings, messages from your spirit guides, and so much more, okay? So check all of those out on my website. And let's jump right into your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of October 2018. So this is for Libra's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, 1st through 12th house, and any other placement for the month of October 2018. What's in store for Libra for the month of October 2018? in store for Libra for the month of October 2018. Here is the page of pentacles so interestingly enough sometimes the page of pentacles for me can be about communication of course it can be about you know research you know learning things like that you know learning you know to become the knight of pentacles to becoming the king of pentacles but a lot of times for me i do have to say you know from my interpretation my intuitive interpretation interpretation uh the page of pentacles can be about communication so you could be communicating with someone now interestingly enough as well the page of pentacles can be about a new relationship a budding relationship so you could be um in a new relationship um you know or you could just be in a new phase of an already established relationship with someone all right so let's see what else we have going on for you guys Ooh, but there's conflict either within you or outside of you with the five of wands here in the present position so you know it feels more so there may be some conflict without outside of you um but it feels more so internal conflict um in terms of what is the best move the best decision for you to make now of course, you know, um, outside influences, I feel, when it comes to this specific decision for you, Libra, aren't your best friend. All right, so um, when it comes to this specific decision, um, if it whether it involves someone else, this new person, or whether it involves someone um, you're currently dealing with, or if it involves, it doesn't involve a relationship, maybe it involves, once again, a decision you have to make totally separate from any relationship. You know, maybe this decision is for you um and especially if it's for you i want to say you know be wary of outside influences when it comes to making this decision do what you feel is right for you okay because it involves you making a move of some sort now it could be literal moving you moving um you know to a new a new living situation a new living dwelling you know the house is back here but it can also mean you making a move in terms of um, your career, in terms of, you know, a relationship, something like that. Um, once again, it feels more so. Now, of course, it's going to be different for all of you. There are, you know, a lot of people that watch these videos. But I feel like more so for you, Libra, it's, it's an internal decision that, that you have to make for yourself. All right. More so than anyone else. All right. So I don't want to say don't ask for advice. Because that would not be smart, right? We sometimes need advice when making decisions. But this is what I want to say. Seek advice from people who you know will give you unbiased advice. Alright? And you know who those people are. Those people who won't give you advice for the sake of emotionally or, you know, psychologically manipulating you for their own benefit, for their own gain. Or sabotaging you for their own benefit or their own gain all right so just be careful who you seek advice from who you take advice from this month but regardless you know you're going to make a decision that's right for you and when you make this decision, you're going to feel good about it and that's what I want you to focus on is making a decision that feels good all right Whatever decision it is, it's right for you. 
if it makes you feel good and it puts you in a, a better place of peace, a better place of, of being able to learn, all right, of being able to grow, then go for it. You have the key, all right? You have the key to open the door to, to that next phase of your life this month. The universe is giving you the key this month. All right. Actually, you know, it's interesting because there are two keys in this in, in this um, this card. So it feels like the universe may be giving you two keys, actually. And it's like, which key do you choose? Which door do you choose to open? This door over here. Which is right for you. You know is right for you. It may not be the easiest decision for you to make. Because it involves you maybe going out on your own totally. And you may not have the support of the people over here. Who want you to open this door. For whatever reason. Because maybe it benefits them. So which one do you choose? You're going to choose the right one for you. Do your research so you make an informed decision, all right? If you have to go out there and meet people in person, go out there and make some cold calls, you know, go out there and, um, you, I mean, you have amazing energy around you this month to make things happen, all right? So put on your good suit, brush the wig out, all right? Make yourself look pretty or handsome. And go out there and do what you have to do, all right? For yourself. Eight of Cups. And once you make the decision, there's no going back, I want to say. And that's the scary part. But you know you've made the right decision, all right? <clears throat> it may be scary at first. You know you know how you might make a decision, you sign your first lease or something like that, and it's like, oh my gosh, now I have to look forward to paying this rent, finding a way to pay this rent, and securing a job. Oh my gosh, it's so overwhelming, it's so scary. That's the first night, you know, after signing the lease. <laughs> And then the next night, you know, it starts to set in a little bit more. And you're like, well, you know, I will be living alone, finally. And I will be, you know, able to control my own air temperature. And I will be able to, you know, have my own bathroom. And, you know, like the good things start settling in about your decision. So give things time to settle in, all right? Don't freak out, all right? Trust your intuition. Trust your guidance this month, Libra. You're very intuitive. And don't sabotage things before they even happen, before they get started. You're entering a new phase of your life this month, Libra. And it may seem a little bit scary, but you've got what it takes. Libra, it's going to lead you to success. It's going to lead you to stability. All right? It's going to lead you to happiness, a happy family, a happy life, abundance. You know, people, there are some people who aren't going to be happy for you. There are some people who are going to be bitter. You know what? Maybe it had to happen this way. The tables are turning this month in your favor, Libra. The scales are being balanced. And my question to you is, how does it feel? Check in with your feelings this month. How do you feel? Are you overwhelmed? Are you frightened? Are you scared of, of the future? 
Be aware of how you feel. Don't move blindly not knowing how you feel this month. Okay? Because that's where people can manipulate you. And tell you how you feel. Tell you how you should feel. And the next thing you know, they're telling you how you should think. And the decisions you should make. So, you know, you know, this month, it's it's all about you, Libra. It's all about you taking the power back, you know, from the people you've given your power away to. And, you know, it all culminates to you making a decision. It's almost like a chess move where it's like you make one move and then, poof, like suddenly, like the, the whole board kind of like suddenly all the other chess pieces, pieces kind of, you know, get blown away, you know, it's like, whoa, you know, what, what just happened? You know, Libra, you're making a huge move this month and I'm excited for you. I'm not going to lie. So if you would like to elaborate, contact me on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Like I said, I do psychic tarot readings, birth chart readings, and so much more. So please also like me on my Facebook and follow me on my Instagram. I would also love it if you would like me or, you know, subscribe, I'm sorry, to my YouTube channel. Uh, share this video. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video and like this video, all right? Thank you for your support. Have a great month. Love and light. Have you been wanting to get a reading from me? Well, it's easy. Let's go through it together. So all you do is you visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, and you can visit the site on your computer or on your phone, and you click the store button right here at the top of the page and here are all my services that I offer I do candle offerings and all different types of birth chart readings and psychic tarot readings messages from your spirit guides and so much more so you click the one that you want you click the pay with PayPal button and it'll take you to the PayPal page where you can pay for your reading now You'll hear from me within 24 hours, you know, for your reading confirmation, and then I'll get your reading back to you within a 48 hour period. Usually, you know, it's, you know, a day or less. Okay, so I look forward to reading for you. Thank you for your support.